Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you, 22nd May, half hour before the European Open. Just looking ahead today, we've got uh, UK CPI, we've got Draghi, Pret from the ECB, we've got Fed speakers, Williams Bostich, um, we got retail sales out of Canada. And you have FOMC minutes tonight. Quiet ranges overnight. Um, not a lot to say. We continue to like we continue to like uh, selling high ones in dollar CAD. Uh, we think this eventually is going to break this uh, 133.80. We've cut three quarters of our Aussie short to give us a little more ammo on a possible bounce today. Uh, it's just feeling slightly stale. And it could be a trick just because of this tiny, tiny range yesterday. Uh, 73.86 overnight as well. It's just dull, dull, dull. Um, but we've, we've cut our shorts a little bit, looking to resell between 90 and 10. We're short a tiny bit of dollar yen there at 53. Just social amount. Um, we do like this to turn eventually up here. Yesterday was a very constructive bar, though, so we want to see some more bearish action near the hourlies. Um, some more conviction bearish, act, bearish action before we get any normal size onto this position. Um, but let's just say it's just kind of a boring short uh, for now. Stocks up at 64, total mid-range, you know, 2,900, 2,800 is the range. So you want to try and start selling between 78 and 98, uh, start buying between sort of 30 and 10. Um, trading on the short side, trying to create a better average uh, and lock in some gains uh, for what we think is the eventual move down through 2770, which is the 200 day. Uh, we shall see. We're short some BTPs. Uh, again, mid range here. We're just trading this on the short side, uh, heading into these European elec elections. Uh, we'll see what happens with that. What else? We got UK CPI. This might come in hot today. We had this news-driven bar yesterday, which is basically just meaningless. This was 15 minutes up, 15 minutes down. If you take away the news, it's just a nothing bar. Um, although some of the shorts surely got cleaned out there. Uh, CPI might have an effect on this, and it actually might come in hot. So careful, uh, 10.30 today, if you have any sterling on UK CPI. Uh, what else is out there? Not too much, really. Uh, commodity yen crosses seem to have turned a bit. CAD yen a little bit higher. Aussie yen looks like it wants to turn. A lot of indecision here after this gap up. Um, Kiwi yen also indecision. Uh, we're watching this topside stuff, 72.15 in, in Kiwi yen. Looks decent. This would have to mean uh, risk on, trade war solved type of deal for us to really buy into this. So the story looks unlikely. Uh, we'll just have to see. Uh, I'm not expecting much today. I guess the big moment today is uh, FOMC minutes. So that's later tonight, 8 p.m. So expecting a quiet morning. Crude for some reason, actually, I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen it from the news feeds. Is lower. This may weigh on risk a little bit, but again, mid range. Um, not a whole lot of uniquely awesome ideas today, so we're just going to be patient, wait for some setups, uh, and just continue to be patient and wait for this low vol um, atmosphere to change. Something's going to have to kickstart this thing, and, and uh, when it does, we'll be ready. But until then, we're just grabbing nickels and dimes, uh, keeping hope alive. Good stuff, people. Good luck today. Make some dough. I will uh, catch you guys tomorrow.